All right, we finally got some new cases and parts for my expedition. Um, this this build going to be making it 40 cc bigger, but right now we have to uh, transfer my complete transmission and crankshaft assembly into my new uh, lower end case assembly. The reason being is, as you know, if you've been watching, this oil pump area here was badly damaged. Now you see my new one here. There's a little scar right there. It looks worse on picture than it really is. It's very minor. I'm going to let that slide since I also have the oil pump that came with the uh, whole assembly. So the wear pattern will remain the same as much as possible. And we got a brand new water pump cover because when I removed the old one, I broke the case trying to tap it off. So I got a new one. And I got some new seals for the water pump. And I got some new gaskets to reassemble this. So you're going to see the steps of me removing all the parts from this case to put into this case right here so we're working at it the expedition is going to be coming back to life okay I just got the cases all cleaned up as you can see the berries are ready to grow inside all ready to go um, I just cleaned them off with the uh, gunk and the garden hose dry them off with blowtorch and uh for right now we got to disassemble this cover here which has the chain that connects it to this output shaft to a, a bevel gear inside there and you, you know, all this stuff is going to come out and go into that case over here but in order to do that first we have to remove this cover and remove the drive gear attachment points from this reverse assembly and then put it into the new cases. So we'll show you how that goes on. We have the chain case cover off. Well, after all this work today, I have to go to my shop out where I work to get a socket to take that bolt off. It's huge bolt, we don't have one here. So, for now, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be working on it tomorrow morning.